Sports with Ed Lopez and Weather with Laura Huckabee. This is Action 7 News live at 5.30. Boxer Johnny Tapia defended his title in front of the home crowd today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Johnny Morris. And I'm Teresa Davis McKee. The babyface assassin came out on top after 12 rounds with Arthur Johnson in Albuquerque this afternoon. Unfortunately, if you did not attend the bout today, you didn't get to see the matchup. That's because the event was not sold out, so the promoters blacked out the local TV and radio coverage of the contest. So here's Ed Lopez in a little early with all the details of the Tapia Johnson I, contest. I hate when that happens. I've been <laughs> victimized by that before, too. Yeah. So now we'll tell him. Try not to think about his assault charge stemming from a domestic dispute with his wife three weeks ago and try not to look ahead to his arraignment next week. Johnny Tapia today sandwiched a defense of his world title. Johnny was making his third defense of his WBO Super Flyweight Championship against former Olympian Arthur Johnson. Both fighters met as amateurs and split those bouts. Today was the rubber match and Johnny built up enough points throughout the fight to withstand a desperate 12th round assault by Arthur Johnson in the final minutes. Tapia pulls out a majority split decision victory over Arthur Johnson to retain his World Boxing Organization Championship. I fought my heart out. I went through a lot for this fight, but I'm still the champion of the world. He certainly is still the champion of the world, and we'll have more during the regular body of sports. That's right. been a tough fight. For every, every fight's a tough fight for That's him. Right. Sure. Thanks, Ed. Firefighters throughout Bernalillo County fighter was when you're champion they're all coming at you and you're getting only the best fighters too johnny tapia passed the test and successfully defended his wbo super flyweight championship before a national television audience a local viewers in the koat viewing area did not see it because of a blackout but here's what america saw they saw johnny coming out strong in the early rounds as he built up points in the third round tapia continues to hurt johnson and arthur will respond by clowning uh, Johnny didn't like being shown up in his hometown as the bell brought an end to the round. Fifth round action now. Tapia with a good combination that makes Johnson grab and clinch. Johnson and Tapia continue to go at it. And in the 12th and final round, Johnson knew he had to get a knockout to win it. And although he didn't get the KO, he definitely won the round, throwing an array of punches that left their mark on Tapia's bloody face. The fight went the 12-round distance. Then the usually unflappable ring announcer, Michael Buffer, reads the wrong decision which in a first was then corrected by ABC commentator Alex Wallu. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecard. Nelson Vasquez scores the bell to 116 to 112. Al Munoz scores at 114 to 114. He has it even. And Tomas Vasquez scores the bell 115 to 113. The score I have in front of me. It is a three-way split, ladies and gentlemen. The bout is a draw. The champion keeps the title. I believe my, ju my judgment, uh, my information is different. I have, uh, it's a split decision. <laughs> With Alex Wallou's help, Buffer then gave the correct decision. Tapia wins by majority split decision. Johnny Tapia retains his WBO Super Flyweight Championship. Just getting in the ring alone is a hard sport, and uh, you got to give credit where credit is due. And every fight I take, I never take lightly. Uh, I, get, I take my hat off to Arthur Johnson. I wish him the best. Johnny Tapia is still the champion of the world. We'll have more tonight at 10 o'clock. The 50.